Podcast time. Podcast time. What are we talking about? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, you, you Christmas. Podcast. Oh, is that what this is about? That's what this is about. It's that time of the year. Okay. Let's see. What's your favorite Christmas movie? You got a new bounce going on here. We're trying to fill in some light here, uh, so your faces aren't so dark. Okay. For okay. Tyler's request. Oh, Tyler said his face was too dark. Yep. So. We're talking about host. We are shooting episodes for December and January today. A little bit of everything. Right. Did you make the light dumber? That's what, that's what this is trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed something different about it. How has life after touring been for you guys? Do you find yourself on a Saturday night feeling like you should be somewhere doing something? So for me, that's dra- is dramatically different. Being home on a Saturday night, Friday night, like we do Friday night movie nights. I'm still not used to it. But it's not completely foreign because we had COVID year, you know. But it's it's like the COVID year without the anxiety of I need to work. Yeah, that kind of trained you for that a little bit. Yeah. Hey Mav, we gotta go get a haircut today. Your hair's a little crazy. Oof. One more. Okay. We're filling up our our uh, tractor trailer today. Coming? Whoa, big one. You're so strong, Mavi. Got it. You ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> Who needs a hug? Okay. Who needs a hug? Oh, I do. Love you. Let's go get a haircut. I Let's go show them the barn. I'm gonna go show you what we did on the outside of the barn. We're pretty much finished. Okay, so we start. We did our little rock pile out here. We're gonna put our chairs back out here for the fire pit. And we added grass, you guys. the door up there we added grass right there and then we did like the little garden areas in the front with the rocks and Granger loves cactus he always pulls cactuses cactuses cacti Granger pulls cacti from all the all the houses that we've lived at and he'll just plant just replant them you could just break a piece off and stick it in the ground and it'll grow so he always has cactus but I have toddlers who like to touch them but he likes it, so I digress. Okay, let's show you this door over here. All right, so here's the other side. And then they just put up the sliding door over here. If you remember, this used to be the garage where we had stuff stored. That looks so good. So good. The guys crushed it. Awesome. This is stuff that I left out the other day to take to the house. We added this rock path all the way to the barn now. You don't have to get your feet all muddy and gross going to the barn. Rock path. Oh yeah. We did the windmill too. If you'll remember this used to just be all weeds and all kinds of stuff. So we fenced that. Pump is just in the center. And our grass that will all grow nice and beautiful. Let's do a comment down below. What are your kids asking for for Christmas? Could be anywhere from toddler up to your adult children. What does everybody, what is everybody asking for for Christmas? Do you guys do gifts? Do you do one gifts? Do you, one gifts? Do you do one gift? Do you do, sometimes we like to do like the three or the four. Something to wear, something to do, something to read and something to play, I think is what it is. Um, we did that last year. Let me know what you're getting. Let me know what you're asking for. Let me know if you're doing gifts at all. Let me know if you guys do where you like draw names. We did that um, in my family when I was younger. There were so many cousins and so many people. It just gets too hard to spend that much money. So one family would draw another family or another person and that was easy to do. Comment down below. Let me know what everyone's asking for. Lincoln wants everything football. Everything football. That's all he wants. Anything football, anything agility training, anything to help him hone his skills. What do you want for Christmas, Maddie? 
What do you want for Christmas? He would be happy with a water bottle. <laughs> I might just wrap a water bottle for Christmas for him. London, she just wanted some concert tickets, but we are not going to be getting that for her because they are about $500 a piece up to $2,000. Cannot justify that. Not one single bit. Maddie, what do you want for Christmas? What's Christmas about? Do you know what Christmas is about? Christmas cookies. What Christmas cookies? Mm -hmm. Whose birthday is it? Jesus birthday. Mm -hmm. Birthday Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing that we're kind of probably leaning more towards is just experiences. Rather do something together than get toys and stuff that really just will sit on a shelf or really not get played with. Our kids are getting a little older, so so maybe just something fun as an experience to go do together. Movie nights or concerts or sports, sporting events or a travel or a night, you know, with mommy or daddy at a hotel and just go have fun. Mommy and daddy. Yes. Let's go get a haircut. Mavi, you're getting messy. <laughs> Come on. Yucky goat water. Is that fun? Yeah. So actually that is another drowning hazard. If anyone has any troughs or anything for animals. So that is another reason why you should do swim survival lessons because infants, toddlers, babies can drown in that little of water. It's about the size of a small bathtub or a baby pool. So if you have to have standing water on your property, you need to make sure that there's gates and locks and that they have the skills that they need or that you are with them physically within feet of them, not just outside with them. Because children are fast. Maverick is so fast. I will turn around for a second and he is gone. Just another tip for you. We're just doing chores this morning. Feeding the goats, feeding the doggies, purging. What else do you want to do? Still working on a haircut. I think I might Baby just- Baby Rock? Baby Rock? I think I might just YouTube how to cut hair. Maybe that'll be a good video. <laughs> it could be an ultimate fail if I try to cut my toddler's hair. It's just expensive for kids' haircuts. Plus he screams the whole time. Granger is out preaching. Kids are at, big kids are at school. I'm working on a rise. I'm working on um, merch. I'm working on messages. I'm working on Christmas shopping, Christmas wrapping, Christmas party planning, all of the Christmas things we're working on today. It's actually been as busy as I am. It's actually been a slower time for me, which is great. I'm actually, I'm able to, to hang out with Maverick and explore and do the movies with the kids. And the weather has been amazing in Texas. It is so beautiful, no wind, Cool, brisk, but it feels nice. And Johnny's over there. Johnny Wazinski. He's over there cutting trees for Granger while he's gone. <gasps> What's Johnny doing? Trailer. Trailer? Also, if you guys haven't seen London's channel, she posted a new video with Maverick where she asks some questions. She does like an interview style. Go over to her channel. It's London Smith. It's pretty funny. You can also comment down below if you have other questions that she should ask him during her little interviews with Maverick. Her videos with Maverick, I think are really funny. So go check them out. Born in the woods. Wow. Okay, let's go. We can go inside our house. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Okay. No, can't go over there. That's our neighbor. Oh. Bug. Bug. Is there bugs in there? Yeah. Wow. Bushy. You're a wild man. Mommy. Wild man. Say, I'm a wild man. Oh. Duck. Almost. Duck. Pull your leg over. Duck. Oh, you did it. Did it. What's up everybody? We are headed to Austin Park and Pizza for a little mommy Sunday to go play arcade games while Sissy and Daddy are gone. All he really wants to do today is play arcade games. So that's what we're doing. But I'm gonna kick your booty in arcade games. Let's see who can get the most tickets, you or me. Tickets? Yeah. I want toys. 
You don't need toys. Hi. on our mommy Sunday includes Mavi. Choo-choo! Playing, playing at the bookstore. It's one of my favorite things to do is to walk around a bookstore and just take my time. Choo -choo! However, now Maverick wants to open up pretty much everything that's on the shelves. <laughs> so it's not as easy to do. Choo-choo! Choo-choo, buddy. Baby shark? Baby shark! Lincoln is looking for a chapter book to read. Hey, comment Choo -choo! below. If your child is between 8 and 11, what are some good chapter books that they enjoy reading? What genres do they like? Lincoln has trouble finding good chapter books that he enjoys, so I would love to know what your kids are reading. Wait a second. What? Wait a second, what? Wait a second. Oh my gosh, two and a half is such a fun age. What'd you find? What'd you find? The message sign. Oh, oh good night, good night construction sign. Uh -huh. For your favorite book. Mm -hmm. We have this at home, don't we? Good night, construction Good night, construction site. What'd you get? Lily, boxes and a fix. That is really cute. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's a chapter book. That's great. So I was just going through books over here looking for little books for Maverick. So I found 101st Animals and 101st Trucks. I just randomly looked, reached over here, opened up this book right here. I just opened it up to that. Just first book I opened. Do you know anything about the blue butterfly? I see one every day. Okay, now show me. What'd you get? A new iPhone. Oh, wow. That's cool. What? Putty. Cool. It's practice day. Lincoln started uh, winter football. It's cold right now though. It's chilly. Uh, their practice is extended to two hours now, so I have two hours to wrangle Mavi. <laughs> but he has fun. Climb in. Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> okay, what's the yes sir count in this Smith's video? Maybe three? Hey, where are you going? You're gonna go on the big slide? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna come. No. Yeah. Okay, you ready? I got you. Come down. Okay, it's okay. Sit down. Maverick. Okay, I'll get you, baby. I'll get you. Hold on. We are gearing up. We're getting ready to go shopping for Dell Children's. We always partner with the Colt Catalina Foundation and we buy toys. Thank you to your for your generous donations. We're able to go buy a bunch of toys. We take them, we drop them off at Dell Children's Hospital and then the families that are there in the hospital during and over the Christmas season <laughs> can go in and shop. They get the things for free. They don't have to buy them, but they go and they shop for their loved ones and even brothers and sisters can get things. So it's just a really fun way to give back this season and this little guy's going. Are you gonna go too? You wanna go get some toys? Go take him to Dell? Just woke up from a nap so he's kind of barely awake. But we're gonna go as soon as my kids finish getting dressed. Marshmallows are gum. Where'd you get marshmallows? Yo. What? Lucy, Camo Famo, and Blueberry. Mm, I want a spa day. Toys. Do we get toys? Oh my goodness, buddy. 
Oh, Play-Doh's always great. I just saw some. This is Madison. Hi. There's Heidi. We're doing our annual toy pickup. Do you want to get JJ? What is that, Maverick? Should we get that? Should we get it? Pitch! Oh, Maverick's pushing it. Madden! Madden! Hey, did you get a football? Wide open! No, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. Get a football. <laughs> so fun! It's my favorite! Let's go! I think we did a pretty good job. <laughs> I think we got five carts. We upset a few people at Walmart for how long it was taking, but it's for a good cause, right? We did good. Kiddos will be happy.